The 308 Winchester versus the 270 Winchester, two of the most popular cartridges out there, especially when it comes to deer hunting, but how do they compare when it comes to mild steel? Well, we are going to try and figure this out in today's video, so let's get to it. I'm using one of the most popular deer hunting bullets out there, the Hornady Interlock, a 150 grain in the 308 and then a 130 grain in the 270. Now let's go ahead and get some velocities. The 270 is going to be rocking a 24 inch tube and then the 308 is also going to be rocking a 24 inch tube so we should see just about the maximum velocity out of each of these cartridges. If you saw my last testing video, you're probably like, oh man, I bet he's going to introduce a new steel sled, you know, and I'd be thinking the same thing, but let me tell you something, I'm not. Steel sled 4.0 has been restored back to full health by a new clamp right here. In case you didn't know, I made this clamp removable, so I replaced it with a forged steel clamp, which I'm hoping is a lot stronger than that cast iron garbage that we had in there before. We'll have to go ahead and see though. Even though it shouldn't give either of these cartridges any trouble, it's traditional to start with a quarter inch, so let's get to it. I am liking it better already. It's also tradition to start with the less powerful cartridge, and based on the numbers, it looks like the 270 is it, so let's head back to the bench and shoot that 270. Alright, let's check out the results. Pretty much textbook penetration right there, although from where I was shooting it looked like there was a spark or something, so let's see if anything got impacted. No, nothing's really jumping out to me, but it looks like that clamp is doing a whole lot better. Anyway, it's time for the 308 now, so let's head back to the bench. Not too shabby, the 308 went straight through as well. Now it's time to get that quarter inch garbage out of there though. All right, the bag is looking pretty good. And I'm sure you already know what the next step up is. 3 eighths of an inch of mild steel. Whew. Oh, that's pretty nice. I, I didn't think it did that. Guys, this is a way bigger upgrade than I thought. This clamp face apparently is connected to this rod, which it was not on the previous model. I am super excited about that. Anyway, we're good to go. I really don't think that either of these cartridges are going to have an issue with 3 8 of an inch of mild steel, but I've said that before and been wrong, so we'll just have to see what happens. Back to the 270. And the verdict is... I knew what I was talking about, guys. It went straight through that 3 of an inch of mild steel. All right, back to the bench and back to the 308. So that was a bit closer than I'd wanted, but it also went straight through that 3 of an inch of mild steel. Let's get that bad boy out of there. We're moving on up in the world. Also, this new clamp seems to be working like a champ. I don't see any cracks at all. We are moving straight on up to a half inch of mild steel. Guys, a half inch can stop way more cartridges than I was initially thinking, so this is a real challenge. Anyway, let's go ahead and get it set up in that steel slit. That ought to do it. And funny enough, there's actually a piece of the old clamp right here. I guess I forgot to pick this one up. No more use for you though. Alrighty, back to the 270. Maybe for the last time today. We'll just have to go ahead and see. I'm pretty sure that I saw some pieces flying back my way, so I don't think it went through, but let's go ahead and check it out. I don't know what to think right now. It does not look like it went through, although that is super deep. Let's see how deep it actually went on the backside. That is a freaking massive bulge. It looks like a perfect dome shape. Guys, it's getting freaking hot. But anyway, that 270 was about as close as it could be to getting through that half inch mild steel plate, but it just didn't have what it takes. Now let's go back to the 308. <laughs> 
I don't know if you guys are going to like these results. Okay, so here's the 270 and this is the 308. It went straight through that half inch mild steel plate. I guess that extra kinetic energy helped it out quite a bit. But I say we should probably give the 270 one more chance just to make sure that wasn't a fluke. I don't know. Let's head back to the bench and shoot the 270 one more time. That was definitely not it. It looks like it punched its way through, but that was on the corner, so that doesn't count. Back to the bench, again. All right, that one landed right beside the 308, and I don't think it went through. Pretty much the exact same bulge though. Well, I think that confirms it. At least with these Hornady interlock bullets, the 270 Winchester is not able to make it through a half inch of mild steel. But the 308 on the other hand went straight through. I did in a previous video shoot this exact same load out of the 308 Winchester at a 5 8 inch mild steel plate. So I'm gonna roll that footage in here. And here's my long boy right here. 5 8 of an inch of mild steel. Alrighty, let's see what happens. Definitely nothing right there. Although that's a 338 Lapua right there, and it looks like the 308 may have actually gone deeper. Time to grind. The deepest point that I was able to find with the 308 on the 5 8 inch mild steel plate was 423,000. I guess let's go back to the bench and figure out just how deep the 270 Winchester penetrated. Because it's time to grind. <laughs> So the first shot from the 270 penetrated 518 thousandths and the second one penetrated 516 thousandths which is only two thousandths difference that is pretty consistent but let me just get one thing straight the 270 was going about 100 feet a second faster than the 308 had a much better sectional density and it's a smaller diameter overall so it shouldn't have as much surface area impacting the steel why'd the 308 go deeper if you can remember from back at the beginning of the video the 308 is actually producing around 200 foot pounds more kinetic energy at the muzzle than the 270 is which is really the only explanation I have as to why the 308 would penetrate deeper than the 270. I mean the 270 was going considerably faster than the 308 but at least with this test we saw that kinetic energy was definitely the king on mild steel. Steel testing aside though these are both excellent cartridges but if I was only able to choose one of them it would definitely be the uh, 308. Guys I'm just not the biggest fan of the 270 but anyway I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching and remember don't let ballistics drive you bananas. Mm -hmm.